hey my lip dance so i i want to come with a quick video on on this and uh, when it comes to jada at this point uh, i'm not even gonna talk about it too long because i already discussed this um i think the video that i did on jada pickett admitting that her and will smith have been separated since 2016 but yet they refused to get a divorce but they've been separated for seven years live in separate houses don't even like they don't they're, they're not romantic none of that they're not romantic or anything so i was just like okay like i'm over this i'm over this whole thing i'm not buying the book and it just just think this thing just came on my feet i'm just like bro can we can we move on from this but I, I I don't know if this is going to be my last video. Hopefully it, it is. But I did see this post and I was, and I, and I wanted to go, I wanted to go confirm if this thing was true. Does she really, does she really say this? Does she really say this? And at this point, I can't be too shocked, but it's just like, wow. Like, so it says here, Jada Pickett says she was shocked that Will Smith called her wife at the 2022 oscars after slapping chris rock first of all this is her this is her own quote her own words first of all i'm really shocked because mind you i'm not there we haven't called each other husband and wife in a long time i'm like what is going on right now keep my wife's name out your mouth i'm really worried for will because i don't know what's going on <sighs> yeah <laughs> At this point, I, you know, you know that y'all know that soldier boy meme, the one where he's like, uh, where he's laughing and he's like, "Hey, th this shit ain't funny, but it is funny." Th at this point, this shit is funny, but it is f it, it, like, it ain't that funny, but it's funny because I know Will like, and don't listen. This is not a, a, a Will Smith defense at all. I don't feel no ways about Will Smith. At the end of the day, he did what he did. He, he needs to suffer the, he needs to suffer the consequences. Like you should have got your ass up there to begin with, to go and put your hands on that man. But I do, it, it is a little bit, I don't know if it's cognitive dissonance. I don't know if it's arrogance. I don't know if it's, I don't know, narcissism. I don't know what it is, but this man, and mind you, and I already said this in the previous video I just did like a day or two ago, Will Smith did not go up there to Slap, well, didn't go up to slap Chris Rock for the, for the honor of, J of Jada. Absolutely not. They've been, I, I already knew then that they've been, they haven't been together for a long time. He did it because of the honor, to honor his image and to honor the image of his marriage. Okay? Because he knew that his image was tarnished and he was just over people poking at him and poking at the idea of his marriage. So at least he's doing it for, you know, to still upkeep the image. The fact that Jada is over here, like, doing, like, just like, no, fuck that. Like, you shouldn't have never even called me your wife at the Oscar stage when you won your first Oscar. Okay? When you did all of that, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, and then, and she's over here thinking, are you calling me your wife? Bitch, where? Wife who? And to me... I actually do, at this point, I, I, I feel like, and I know they're saying that they're not going to get a divorce or anything like that, even though it doesn't make no sense, y'all not together, you don't even consider, you don't even consider yourself a, yourself a wife of Will Smith anymore, you claim this yourself, then why are y'all still married? Why, why, what is the point? Like, the image is already tarnished. That image is tarnished, we don't believe that y'all love each other anymore, why are y'all still married? And, and at this point, people are saying, oh, well, maybe for their assets, their businesses. After this, I don't know who the hell, maybe, I don't know if this book will do well. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But it, a lot of people do not like Jada right now. So, and on top of that, Will, I mean, I guess, but then again, they, Jada also has her own money. So I'm just like, either y'all do this simply or whatever. Maybe it's less expensive. But there's no reason for Will and Jada to be married at this point. Nobody's going to care anymore. We see this for what it is. And clearly, y'all don't give a shit. So y'all like, let's just milk this one thing out once and for all. Let's milk the, the fact that our marriage is a sham and a scam. And let's be on our merry-go-round way with our coin. I, personally, for me, I do think maybe in the future, maybe, I'm not sure because I, there's no point of being married at this point, but... 
I think in the future they might get divorced, but I don't. <laughs> I think maybe Jada will file before Will. Maybe. Because Will Will did admit at one point that um, he didn't want to divorce his first wife. But the, the first wife divorced him. So he had no choice. But I don't know. Maybe he might take Jada. But shit. I don't I, <laughs> Like, this woman really said who, which wife. And I'm like, girl, like, I know, and, and I know she knows that she didn't, he didn't do this to, for her protection or her honor. He did this to, for the image purpose, for image purposes and ego purposes. But it's also, it's just like, at least he's trying to portray to the public that you, he, that he still loves you. The least that you can fucking do is not go on the media talking about some, I was confused about what wife. That is, he's talking about me? Me who? Jada who? I don't know, woman. You tell us. I'm over this. I'm over Jada Pickett Smith. I think that she's full of shit. Will Smith, at the end of the day, you got what you got. You're banned from the Oscars for 10 years. It is what it is. You made your own choices. Now, you know, live with it. And, you know, I'm just, I'm over this. And on top of that, she's, oh, oh God. Then there's just the whole Tupac, Tupac thing, and I'm gonna discuss that a little bit later. But the whole like him, she admitting that Tupac wanted to marry her, but they were never romantic, and blah 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 blah. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. So that's just that on that. I'm so over these two. I'm over Jada Pickett Smith. Like I said, I think she regrets the red table talk, and I think that she wants to see in hindsight what having a show like that would have done to the image of her marriage. I don't think she ever would have created that show. Point blank, period. Next. I want to talk about Diddy. Y'all y'all, y'all have been dragging the shit out of Diddy. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Listen. If y'all don't know, I did, I did a video on Diddy like a while ago. It was, it was very long. It was a very long time ago. I did a video on Puffy. And, um... I think it was like really during the formation of my channel where I did the video. I think it had something to do with Cassie and her and the husband and the husband um, throwing shade at Diddy and stuff and then Diddy doing something else. But it was like during the beginning. I think y'all guys can probably find it in my pop culture playlist or something. It's all the way like deep in my channel. But listen, y'all been dragging Diddy. Y'all have been dragging him. Ciao. And all oh, this is allegedly. Well, I mean, for certain parts. Um, let, let me start, let me start with the, the whole Tupac thing. So a lot of y'all have been dragging, and maybe there's been, don't get me wrong, there has been these allegations for years and years and years, but now it's just, it's arising again due to, um, the arrest of Kifi D, who was the alleged, um, shooter, the person that allegedly shot Tupac and killed him. So they recently arrested him. And now, I think people are saying that this man is going to sing like a canary because he's about to spill a lot of tea about people who are involved, people who, you know, wanted to have hits out on, on Puffy or hired him or whatever, whatever. That Puffy, oh my God, on Tupac. And another person that, ha that has been on Diddy's neck about this is 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent has always had a thing with Diddy. Like... 50 Cent has always poked that Diddy. And I've noticed it over the years that, like, Diddy would never really, really respond to 50. Like, he would never confront him or go back to back with him online. But, like, there was a time where Diddy, I don't know, like, he confronted Drake or something or that he allegedly slapped Drake. Like, petty things. Like, he'll confront other rappers. But for some reason, particularly 50 Cent, I remember when 50 Cent, you know, accused Diddy of being gay, like, Saying that he's gay or he's fruity or, uh, you know, that like 50 has always poked that Diddy, always. And now 50 is saying that, you know, that Diddy, Diddy's gonna go down because Diddy has had something to do with, um, Tupac's murder, allegedly. That Diddy allegedly, um, also put a hit out on, on Tupac, that he, he probably hired Keefe D. It's a lot of tea going on. And even Keefe D kind of insinuated that Puffy also, him and Puffy were in talks and things like that. 
Um, it's very interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to that situation, I'm not sure because we, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with the Kifi, Kifi D thing. If Diddy is involved, then I suggest, you know, let the courts, let the, let the judicial system handle Diddy when it comes to that situation. But, you know, right now it's all speculation. Maybe it could be true. Maybe it, not, it cannot be true. I don't know. I have no clue. But what is true, and let me just veer off this whole Tupac thing. And it, it is, I will say that before I veer off, it's not looking good for Diddy right now concerning this key feed. Because it's like the insinuations... The speculations that have been going on for years and then now you know he 50 talking about oh yeah him and Diddy had talks and then now you have 50 cent 50 cent seems like he knows some tea he listen he's in the industry he's been in the industry for a while and maybe he knows some tea and he's just like he knows that's why diddy has never responded to 50 that's why he's never and people are gonna be like oh well diddy never responds to anything he's very classy it's like nah diddy 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 knows what he like. He responds to Mace and everybody else, and once when he's gonna slap the shit out of Drake at one point, he could respond to Fifty if he wanted to, okay? Because Fifty has been poking at Diddy for years, and Diddy has never said a damn thing. Maybe Fifty has something over his head. I don't know, but I do want to veer off a little bit. So Diddy had this sort of weird ass like victory lap and doing cartwheels that he gave publishing back to his former bad boy artist and some other artists and y'all and i'm glad that the internet saw through that bullshit first of all did he only did that because he already milked out all of the money all of the cash out of the publishing deals having to do with mace faith evans the biggie estate all of that um yet danity kane so that was nothing to celebrate that was nothing to celebrate at the end of the day when it was popping at the time when the the publishing um, Mace's publishing and all that stuff when he, when it was making a lot of money because nobody's gonna buy a Mace. For, nobody's gonna be streaming Mace in 2023. I'm sorry, like I and I, I don't mean to sound mean or anything like that, but nobody's gonna be streaming Mace at all. So it's like Faith, uh, Faith Evans too. Uh, love her, love her voice, but the masses are not gonna be streaming her like that. Danity Kane as well is not giving. So it's like. He did that because, first of all, he know, Diddy knows that his image is really, really being questioned right now. People are starting to do their research. People are starting to really expose Diddy for the narcissistic, um, money-hungry, greedy, capitalistic, quote-unquote billionaire that he is. And he's, he's getting flack. People are starting to see through the bullshit with Diddy. And people are, you know... <clears throat> are starting to put two and two together so now diddy is really really trying to do especially in times like this with the key D thing and now with the music thing that people have been calling out diddy for for a while diddy's trying to do damage control i don't know how much of it is going to work how much is going to be within his favor but a majority of the um if you see online and see what people are saying people are starting to turn on diddy and as they should because diddy is just He's, he's so narcissistic. He's so just, he, and that's the thing too I don't like about Diddy too. He loves to talk about black this and black ownership and black this, but it's like, sir, you weren't even, you weren't even giving your artists, you weren't even paying your artists properly. You weren't giving your artists their masters. You didn't want them to eat. You only wanted you to eat. So to me, Diddy is just another puppet within this freaking capitalistic system. And he he perpetuated a lot of that bullshit. So I don't want to hear nothing about black this and black that when you weren't even helping your own black brothers and sisters under your label. So that's just that. But um, that's why I feel like, I don't know. I think, personally for me, I think Diddy's going through a lot of money issues because the fact that he's now trying to go back to music again, because it's like there was a point in time that he was, you know, heavy on promoting and, on the Ciroc stuff. And I know Diddy has always done music, but it's just like, it seems weird that like, he's just going back to that. Maybe I think there's something happening with the Ciroc thing. Um, I heard there's some lawsuits happening right now. And I'm also hearing that Diddy is not even like the real owner of Ciroc. Like apparently he was just the face of it. So it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, what's happening right now with Diddy in real time. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
I'm happy to see it because it's like Diddy Diddy has been on this train thinking that he was invincible and he got he's got the coin, he's got the money, he can do whatever he wants to do. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. When you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You should have sure been gave those Mace and Faith Evans and Biggie and all these people, their masters and their publishing. When when you, you care so much about the black community and black people, you should have been helping your brothers out. You you used them for what they were. You should have been gave them back their shit. You know what I mean? You should have been more humble. But, you know, like I said, when you do clownery, um, it's going to be very interesting having to do with Diddy and what's going on right now. I, the Tupac situation, I don't know. I have to wait for the facts to come out. I just don't want to pin that on him. But as far as like the publishing and then this this whole Ciroc thing and him going back to music is very interesting because, you know, Diddy doesn't really need to do it because he's a billionaire now. He milked, he, he, you know, so I don't know. We'll see what happens with Diddy, but it's, oof, it seems like karma is coming for him and it's coming real bad. Um, lastly, I do want to talk about, Cardi, like not to talk about Cardi B. I was thinking, cause I was, I was putting up my shorts about, um, Serena Williams and stuff and saying how like the CFDA um, fashion awards really went downhill after they gave the award to Kim Kardashian and Beyonce. I'm like, they really didn't deserve it because they are not the fashion girls. But now that I think about, I was thinking about, it, I was like, who can really win a CFDA fashion award? Um, right now, because I, I, and I certainly don't think Serena Williams deserves it, at, at, like at all, at all, like horrible fashions, like, and it, and I love her, but she she can't dress. Um, so I, I, to me personally. I, I think Cardi should receive the CFDA Fashion Award. Like, Cardi is really the fashion girl. Even though she, musically sometimes, she's not my cup of tea. But that girl, you you tell her to, you put a dress on her. And I'm not just talking about, like, Met Gala, like, in the Met Gala, outside, when she's on the street, award shows, whatever. Cardi's fashions be on point. And one thing I like about Cardi is, as when it comes to her fashion choices, she takes risks. Too. That's what I really, really like. I like when people take risks. I like that. I like people that don't play it safe. And Cardi doesn't play it safe. She knows. She knows how to give you a look. And I really, really like that about her. And you can tell that Cardi does her research when it comes to fashion. Um. So I, I will say Cardi is really, really deserving of the CFD. And I know she just came into the industry. You know, she's been here for maybe what six, seven years. Seven. Yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah. Six, six, six. Because Invasion of Privacy came out what five, six years ago. But yeah, like she's been here for a good, mm, a good hand. But I, I will definitely put her as a contender for for the CFDA fashion work because she, she even this look, I, I like this look. Like her street fashion, red carpet fashion, Met Gala fashion. Cardi, Cardi, definitely. I need to give her props and props to do. I need to give her her tens. She be eating the fashion, and I actually hope that Cardi gets the the next CFDA fashion um, award because I think that she she definitely deserves it. Like. When it, comes, when it comes to fashion, it's Rihanna, Zendaya, Cardi B. Like, those are those are the three girls where I'm like, okay, yeah, like, they be eating. So, but yeah, that was just my thoughts on that. I just wanted to talk about that, about the CFDA Awards, because I think that <laughs> the CFDA Awards is going, <laughs> I don't know why they be giving it to these random celebrities. It's like, y'all need to go into the girls that actually know how to dress, like, Stop giving it to people just because they got a name. And when they gave that shit to Kim Kardashian, I was like, oh my God, okay, yeah. Now I know y'all doing this for bullshit. But anyway, y'all, um, please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys feel like Cardi B deserves the CFDA Fashion Award? Do you guys, how do you guys feel about Jada Pickett opening her mouth yet again? And how do you guys feel about Diddy? Do you guys think that this is Diddy's karma era? Do you think that the, the, the universe is coming for Diddy? Is the empire about to fall? We'll have to wait and see. When you do people dirty, you can't be doing people dirty for, dirty for too long. Because, hmm, like I said, the clown comes back to bite. So, please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Let's get up to 700 subscribers. Please subscribe to the channel. Okay, don't just watch. Subscribe.